Number 62, integrated concepts. How much time is needed for a surgical cauterizer to raise the temperature of one gram of tissue from 37 degrees Celsius to 100 degrees Celsius and then boil away 0.5 grams of water if it puts out 20 milliamps at 15 kilovolts? Ignore heat transfer. All right, uh, to the surrounding. So uh, first thing is we know that in order to raise temperatures of things, energy must be supplied. So the question is how in the world is energy uh, connected to current and voltage. It is connected to current and voltage via this formula, power. Okay, power will equal the current supplied multiplied by the voltage supplied. Remember power from way back when is simply energy per time. It's the rate of energy transfer, okay? Or the rate of energy production, it depends on the problem. All right, meaning it, it depends on your perspective. So this is gonna be simply energy per time, okay? Is equal to IV. Now, what we need to do is we have to solve this <clears throat> for time. And look, oh, right, I have time. So just solve this for time. Go like this, whoop, cross multiply, whoop. And there you go, okay? I'm gonna just move this now on over to the right-hand side just to make it look nice, and there we go. So, in order to find the time, I need to know the energy supplied. So the energy that's being supplied to do what? Well, to raise one gram of tissue from 37 to 100 and, and, oh, that sounds like an addition, and boil away 0.5 grams of water. So what I'm now going to do is I realize that this energy up here is really going to be the sum of two different energies, two different amounts of energy. The energy that's going to be needed to raise the temperature, right, of the tissue, plus then the energy that's going to be needed to vaporize, boil away the water, Okay. You can start calling these Q if you want, because that's technically heat energy now. You can leave it E. It really doesn't matter, right? doesn't matter what you call me, but just don't call me late for dinner. I, I, I never understood that. I'm not really sure. But I'm um, not really sure why that popped into my head. Uh, anyway, um, so energy of the tissue. So we have to consider that, uh, remember that we're raising the temperature of the tissue. So anytime we're talking about raising temperature and heat energy transfer, we're talking about MC delta T. Now for here, we're specifically talking about the tissue. So therefore the mass of the tissue and the specific heat of the tissue multiplied then by the change in temperature of that tissue. Plus now we're vaporizing the water. So we need to know the mass of the water and multiply it by the latent heat of vaporization of the water. Okay. All divided by now since the water, uh, well, and then boil away. Yeah, no. So, uh, if you, the water is all tied up in this tissue. So you might be thinking, well, don't I have to, isn't water also changing from 37 to 100 first as well? And then we got to take that into account. Yes, we do. We do. However, though, it's all wrapped up in tissue, right? Tissue is comprised of water and a whole bunch of cells. So the specific heat of the tissue is already taking that into account. All right. Just in case you were curious, multiplied by then the current. Uh, so this whole thing is divided by then the current times the voltage. So time here, we just start plugging it in. Just be careful with the units, please. All right. So uh, the mass of the tissue, they gave it to us in grams. You know we need kilograms, right? So that's going to be 0 0.001 or just 1 times 10 to the uh, th uh, minus 3. Maybe I'll write it that way. 1 times 10 to the minus 3. Okay. The specific heat of the tissue, got to look it up. About 3,500. 3,500 joules per kilogram Celsius. Those units are fine. We don't have to change anything. Then multiplied by the change in temperature. So final minus initial, so 100 minus 37. And then add to that the vaporization, right? So 0.5 grams of water. And I realize we're going to run out of a little space. Let me just move this over a little more. And uh, so this is going to be 0.5 times 10 to the uh, minus 3 kilograms, because we need it in kilograms. And then multiplied by then the latent heat vaporization of water. Uh, that's memorized. It's going to be, so you look it up in the book. I think it is uh, 2256 kilojoules per kilogram. This is fine. That's not fine. We need it in joules. So you got to multiply this whole thing by 10 to the 3. And when you do that, it works out to be this. 2.256 times 10 to the 6th now, joules per kilogram. All right. So that's the value there. I'm running out of space. So all I'm going to do is just highlight this. Highlight it here, and you would plug it in. All right? And now let's just calculate. So 1 times 10 to the minus 3 multiplied by 3,500 
multiplied by then parenthesis 100 minus 37 plus 0.5 times 10 to the minus 3 times 2.256 times 10 to the 6th. Okay, and don't forget to do what I almost forgot to do right now, right? I'm, I'm looking at this. I'm like, oh, that's it. What about the current and the voltage? Yeah, no, that comes along for the ride. Just seeing if you're paying attention. So the current here, it was in uh, milliamps, but we needed an amp. So that's simply 2 times 10 to the minus 3 amps. And then this is kilovolts, but we need in volts. So that's going to be 15 times now 10 to the positive 3. All right. And uh, here we go. So take that value that we got. It's about 1300 in the numerator. Divide that now by 2 times 10 to the minus 3 times then 15 times 10 to the 3. And as you can see, those 10 to the 3s really cancel. So it's simply just 2 times 15, which is 30. And you'll take 30 and then divide it into the numerator. And you're going to get about 44.95 or I guess 45.0. What is the unit? Seconds. That's the standard unit of time in physics. That's why, look, you don't even need to know any of the of the units here, you just got to make sure that you plug in the right ones then, and then you don't have to really worry about, well, what time value did I calculate? All right, as long as you're plugging in kilo joules and kilograms and that kind of stuff, your time unit will be in seconds. All right, so uh, that's about how long it's going to take. So happy quarterizing, and I'll see you soon. Be well.